चैप्टर वन फील्ड विजिट इंट्रोडक्शन फील्ड विजिट इज अ वे ऑफ एक्टिव लर्निंग इट सर्व एज अ प्लेटफॉर्म दैट कंबाइंस हैविंग फन एंड एक्सपीरियंस अलोंग विद लर्निंग इन ऑर्डर टू स्टडी जियोग्राफी वी नीड टू डिवेलप सम स्किल्स लाइक ऑब्जर्वेशन क्लासिफिकेशन डिफ्रेंसिएशन कंपेरिजन ग्राफ डायग्राम्स एंड मैप रीडिंग evaluation analysis drawing conclusions presentation and critical thinking field visits help in developing such skills this chapter takes us through a mesmerizing journey of a school field visit from nalgund to alibagh during the field visit we can observe the following things first location second roots third physiography fourth climate fifth population sixth environmental problems and measures seventh land utilization and when we list all these observations in writing and add our own conclusions and photographs it becomes a report let's go through this journey and learn how to write a report along with it report a field trip an enriching experience field trip from nalgund to alibagh osmanabad 23rd march the students had a wonderful experience of a field trip from nalgund in osmanabad to alibagh in raigarh organized by their school on 12th and 13th march The students of the standard 10th accompanied by the geography and science teachers started their journey early in the morning. The teachers guided the students to observe and note the relief features, water bodies, vegetation, soil structures, agricultural pattern and settlement patterns. The students observed the undulating topography in the southern part of the Balaghat ranges and clay houses with shed roofs. which the teacher explained to them as linear settlements the students also noticed more elaborate agriculture being carried out near solapur in comparison to the scrub crops near usmanabad the students were made to get down and see the backwaters to ujjani dam on river bhima which was useful for irrigation power generation and fishing the teacher also made them observe the different types of vegetation semi arid and thorny vegetation near nalgund and banyan and peepal trees near sihagad they also observed different types of rocks and learned how to define the climatic conditions of the region from the geographical factors themselves then they visited sihagad fort and shanivar wada at pune which is a famous market place on the second day they visited lonavla and famous points there as well as the source of river ullas The teachers also instructed them about the primary and the secondary occupations also such as agriculture and fishing. The field trip turned out to be an extremely enriching experience for the students connecting theoretical studies with practical experience written by a student correspondent. <laughs>